Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, make sure that you guys get your pen, get your paper out, because I'm going to be teaching you guys one of the simplest strategies, the best strategy there is out there. I mean, historically speaking, this is, this is a strategy that every investor out there use, even the top investors out in the market. Warren Buffett uses the strategy. So, so if other billionaires use this strategy, why won't you use the same strategy too? And I'm gonna teach this strategy to you guys in three different ways so you can add your own little twist to it so that you can feel like you're having fun inside of the market your own way because you know it's not fun losing inside the stock market. A lot of new investors come in thinking that they're gonna time the market. Uh, you're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. You're not that guy. You're not going to time the market if you're a very new investor. You might have gotten in at the bottom, but over time, you're probably going to lose because you don't have this great investing strategy that I'm going to give you guys today. So today I might be delivering a strategy to you guys that could completely change the outcome of your portfolio and you can start to turn some of most of your red months to green months just by following this simple strategy. Now, I've been using this strategy for a while now. Actually, I've been using this strategy ever since I started investing inside of the stock market. But make sure you pay attention to the three that I'm going to give you. So stick throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information. So if you think you know what information I'm going to give you guys, hopefully I did not put in a thumbnail or the title. But if you think you know what information I'm about to give you guys, go on ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you have no clue about what information I'm about to give you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to uh, test something out and see how uh, the thumbs up button works versus the subscribe button. So, so you could go ahead and mess up my whole test right now by doing both the thumbs up and the subscribe button. But um, before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. To deposit any amount of money. Deposit any amount of money and you receive two free stocks valued up to $1,600. That's right. You can deposit one penny if you want to. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, I left a link in the description to Coinbase. That is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. If you sign up with Coinbase, deposit $100, I think you get a 10 free dollars worth of Bitcoin. I also left a link to Moomoo. -Moo. You'll get five free stocks by signing up with Moomoo -Moo and depositing $100. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Okay, so the strategy that I've been dying to tell you guys about is called dollar cost averaging or DCA. Now dollar cost averaging is an investment strategy in which an investor divides up the total amount to be invested across a periodic purchase of a target assets in an effort to reduce the impact of volatility on the overall purchase. The purchases occur regardless of the asset price in a regular interview. Basically what dollar cost averaging is, is that you're investing to the stock market. If you want to invest into the stock market on the first of every month, then you invest into the stock market on the first of every month, no matter what the price is of the companies that you want. If you want to invest on every single Monday, you can invest into the market every single Monday, no matter what the price is, or you can invest into the stock market every single day, no matter what the price is. That is the basic definition of dollar cost averaging. The reason investors have been using this strategy for a long time, because um, historically Kodala has shown that when the market is going up and dipping down, going up and dipping down, buying the dips and buying the highs, that it's going to average out and you're going to historically make money over time in a good company. Even if the company is just trading sideways, you are still going to profit. So the first way that you guys can use dollar cost averaging is through, let's just say you got a thousand dollars to start off the year in 2022. You say, Hey, I got a thousand dollars. I want to invest a thousand dollars into the stock market. Boom. You invested a thousand dollars into company number one. So well, now that you so happy to get inside the stock market in January, you guys seen what just happened. The stock market uh, took a 5% pullback. So now, now you invested a thousand dollars in 2022. And now you see your portfolio sitting at $800. You felt like you just lost $200. And there's absolutely nothing that you could do about it because you don't have any extra cash. That was the only thousand dollars you could invest. Now, if I had one thousand dollars and that's all I had, this is what I would do. On the first week, I would invest a hundred dollars into the stock market. The stock market pulls back. 
The second week, I invest another hundred dollars into the stock market. Market pulls back some more. The third week, another hundred dollars. Now the market is starting to recover. It starts to go back up. I'm buying, I'm buying shares. I'm buying a hundred dollars worth of shares every single week for the next 10 weeks. If a thousand dollars is all I had, I just dollar cost my way into the stock market. And nine times out of 10, as long as the stock doesn't have a dramatic drop with me buying the dips and me buying the highs and me buying the dips, I'm going to average out over time to why I might be in profit after week 10. But you're going to feel like hell if the, if you put in a thousand dollars and the stock drop for the first two weeks and you see your portfolio sitting at six hundred dollars, you don't have any money you're going to want to withdraw your money you're going to you will have bought high you will have seen your money drop all the way down you're going to want to withdraw your money and you're going to say the stock market is not for me and those are the investors that lose because they don't know what they're doing now the other way that can happen is that you invest a hundred dollars to the stock market the price goes up another hundred dollars the price goes up another hundred dollars the price goes up and hundred another hundred dollars and the price goes up now the price just continue to go up for the next 10 weeks you buy a hundred dollars every single week at the end of the day, you made money and you would have been saying, dang, I wish I would have invested all $1,000 in this company in week one. I would have so much more money. But at the end of the day, you made money. You cannot predict which way the stock market are going to go. You're not that guy. So dollar cost averaging into the market, no matter what the price is, is the way to go. So if I just had $1,000 to invest, that would be the way I go. Invest $1,000 every single week. So let me show you guys a couple other ways of the dollar cost strategy. Wait, before I show you that, if you guys want to be a part of the Discord and sign up, you can click the link down in the comment section. That'll take you to my Patreon. My Patreon will take you to my Discord. Over there in the Discord, I announce every single time I buy and sell different stocks. I post my swing trades and inside of the discord we also post day trades swing trades option trades so if you're looking for a great community of traders a great community of investors and want to have access to a whole bunch of knowledge all in one place make sure that you sign up by clicking the link down in the comment section that'll take you to my patreon and then you'll be able to join the discord so now let's go ahead and dive into the charts okay so here's a chart let's say we draw out this timeline down here is time and then over here on the left is the dollar price and this is the direction of the stock right now that's going to be the average direction of the price but let's say you start off investing and price shoot up then price pull back price shoot up price pull back price shoot up price pull back price shoot up now if you're dollar cost averaging into the market every single week you're going to be buying the highs you're going to be overpaying for stocks right and then you're going to be buying the lows. You're going to be underpaying for stocks. That means you're getting it at a great value. You're going to be buying the highs again. Then you're going to be buying the lows. And then over time, you guys are going to see that you're going to be on the straight arrow up. It's a lot better than trying to time the market, buying a whole bunch at the high right there, buying a whole bunch at the high right here. See it pull back all the way down here. You're going to buy the high and you're going to see it pull all the way back. You're going to say, oh, man, I need to sell. Do not buy high and sell low. You just want a dollar cost average into the market so that you can have an average into the market. And that is the first step. And that is the simplest strategy of dollar cost averaging is investing a certain amount of money every single week, day, month or year. All right. The second strategy that you guys can use is that if a price is, if you buy in at a price right here, right? And your average price is, let's say $100. And the price falls to $50. You could DCA in by buying, let's say you bought one share at $100 and it falls down to $50. You wanna buy two shares at $50. That's gonna bring your average to around $75. So you don't have to wait until the market recover all the way back up to $100 if you just bought one share $100. Because you DCA'd in and bought two, two more shares at $50, your average is 50. So now you could take profit. You could take profit at the $75 price point instead of waiting for it to come all the way back up to $100 to take profit. So that is way number two is that sometimes if you're a trader, these are not the long-term investors. If you're a trader, if the price pull back. Every time the price pulls back down to $25, the price pull back $25, $10. Every time the price pull back, let's say some traders do, every time the price pull back 10%, I'm going to buy double the amount of shares I own. Every time the price pull back 10%, 
I'm going to buy double amount of the shares I own. That means it's going to lower the average price of their entry and the company don't have to recover all the way back up to the top. It could just regain maybe a couple of percent and you're back in profit. So even though a company has been pulling back for the last three, four or five months, all that company need, you don't have to wait for the company to have a three, four, five month gain. If you've been doubling down or dollar cost averaging down um, every time it pulls back 10%, then you only have to wait one month for this company to recover for you to be backed in profit. So that's another dollar cost averaging is to have a strategy. Whenever a company goes up 5%, I buy 100 shares. Whenever it pulls back 5%, I'm buy 200 shares. So you have to have a strategy before going in, but no matter what, you have to have the exact price, uh, average price so you can keep up. So you have a set number of how many shares you buy every time you enter. So there you go, guys. Please excuse my drawings since they were horrible. But yes, st step one is if you have a thousand dollars, just dollar cost average into the market. Do not throw all one thousand dollars into the market. That's not the smart move. Please make some smart plays. Step number two, dollar cost average in. Um, invest every single Monday. Invest every single first of the month. Invest every single every two weeks if you want to. But dollar cost average into the market. And step number three, dollar cost average it by percent. If a company, you make up in your mind, if a company drops 5%, I buy twice the amount of shares. If a company goes up 5%, I buy one amount of the shares, all right? So you have to set limits for yourself. So those are three different strategies that you guys can use in order to be successful in the stock market. So let me know down in the comment section, have you guys been using the dollar cost averaging over the years? If this stump, is this something you first heard about? Or have you used any other amazing strategies? Let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys have. If you are able to beat the market, please hit me up and let me know what you be doing because I don't mind growing with the market. That's fine. But if you've been able to beat the market every single year for the last couple of years, hit your butt up. I'm trying to find out what you know. But yeah, um, other than that, guys, don't forget to pick up your two free stocks um, by signing up for Weeble down in the description, guys. It's free money, guys, for real. Don't miss out on that opportunity. Just one of the strategies I'm going to bring you guys this year. If you want to see more strategies, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any cru crucial information. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.